Is it time to buy or sell Intel stock? Providing a detailed analysis of Intel, building on our initial report from March 28, 2024. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications for our latest updates. Stay informed to make informed investment decisions. Boost your trading strategies with our new AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Access free price predictions and in-depth analysis for 25,000 companies worldwide. This video is for informational purposes only and is not financial advice. Since March 27, 2024, our system has identified Intel as a buy candidate with a score of 2.37. Now, let's examine how the stock has performed during this period. The stock has experienced a 0.91% gain. This results in an average daily return of 0.46% since it was classified as a buy candidate. The stock is currently in a downward trend in the short term, indicating a potential further decline. Over the next three months, there is a projected minus 10.82% change, with a possible return ranging between minus 16.10% and minus 8.02% based on the current trend. Looking at the 12-month trend, a 47.62% change is anticipated, with a potential return of 33.60% to 84.60%. This suggests a price range of $59.01 to $81.54 in a year. Our latest update on Intel features the headline, Green Day on Thursday for Intel. The Intel stock price rose by 0.91% on the last trading day, Thursday, March 28, 2024, increasing from $43.77 to $44.17. It has seen gains for three consecutive days. It will be interesting to observe whether this trend continues or if there will be a slight pause in the coming days. On the last trading day, the stock price fluctuated by 2.04%, moving from a low of $43.71 to a high of $44.60. Over the past 10 days, the price has risen in 7 instances and has increased by 3.32% over the past 2 weeks. The volume has also surged on the last trading day, with 4 million more shares traded compared to the previous day. In total, approximately 54 million shares were exchanged, amounting to around $2.39 billion in transactions. Looking back over the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price was $51.28, while the lowest was $26.86. Currently, the price stands at 13.86% lower than the 52-week high, at $7.11 below. Furthermore, it is 36.25% below the all-time high of $69.29 on January 24, 2020. Analyst Ratings On Friday, February 16, 2024, Wedbush gave Intel an underperform grade with a hold action. On Friday, February 16, 2024, Wells Fargo gave Intel a buy grade with a hold action. On Monday, January 29, 2024, Goldman Sachs gave Intel a sell grade with a hold action. On Friday, January 26, 2024, Oppenheimer gave Intel a perform grade with a hold action. On Wednesday, January 24, 2024, Cantor Fitzgerald gave Intel a neutral grade with a initialize action. Analysts have given Intel stock a general neutral rating. They rate the P-E ratio as neutral and price to book as neutral. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a buy rating. The Intel stock analysis reveals interesting signals. Both short and long-term moving averages suggest a buy but caution is advised due to the long-term average surpassing the short-term one, indicating a sell signal. Support levels at $42.71 and $43.40 exist, with a breakdown below triggering sell signals. A recent buy signal from a pivot point on March 25, 2024, resulted in a 5.59% increase with potential for further growth. Increasing volume alongside price is a positive technical sign. However, negative signals and a sell signal from the three-month MACD may impact short-term outcomes. 
Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a sell signal. Pivots showed a buy signal 4 days ago. Bollinger bands displayed a buy signal 16 days ago. Short-term moving average suggested a buy signal 3 days ago. Long-term moving average also indicated a buy signal 3 days ago. The relationship between short and long moving averages signaled a buy 9 days ago. Looking at the 12-month chart, the short moving average showed a buy signal 3 days ago. The long-term moving average displayed a sell signal 13 days ago. The relation between short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 9 days ago. Remember to visit stockinvest.us for more signals. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Intel. Intel currently finds support from accumulated volume at $43.65. This level could present a potential buying opportunity as an upward reaction is likely when the support is tested. This stock displays average daily movements with good trading volume, indicating a medium level of risk. In the last trading day, Intel moved 89 cents between its high and low, representing a 2.04% fluctuation. Over the past week, the stock has shown a daily average volatility of 2.47%. Before discussing potential trading levels for Intel, let's review some key fundamental data. First up, the price-to-earnings ratio, P-E ratio, which compares a company's share price to its earnings per share. This notably high P-E ratio may indicate overvaluation, typical for tech firms or those with significant growth prospects. Looking ahead, Intel's Q1 2024 earnings report is set for April 25, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates stand at $0.130, these figures can heavily influence stock prices. Now, let's focus on potential day trading levels for Intel. In an upward trend, Intel's first resistance level is at $44.52. If you're not already invested, consider waiting for this level to break before entering a position. For current shareholders, this could be a point to explore for swing trading opportunities. Conversely, Intel's initial support level is at $43.65. If this support holds, it might present a favorable entry point, with the expectation of a rebound. The overall average rating for Intel, as per multiple analyst sources, is neutral. Let's delve into recent insider trading activities. On March 22, 2024, Gelsinger Patrick P. bought 13,064 shares of common stock. On March 22, 2024, Gelsinger Patrick P. sold 6,478 shares of common stock. On March 22, 2024, Gelsinger Patrick P. sold 13,064 shares of restricted stock units. On March 12, 2024, Smith Stacy J. bought zero shares of common stock. On February 29, 2024, Zinsner David bought 130,496 shares of performance stock units. From the most recent 100 insider trades, the insider power is positive with a ratio of 64.729. Overall, insiders purchased 2,058,170 shares and sold 459,492 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $42.37, minus 4.08%. This stock exhibits medium daily movements, indicating a moderate level of risk. Additionally, a buy signal was identified from a pivot bottom observed three days ago. Is Intel stock a good buy? Despite being in a falling trend, there are positive short-term signals indicating a potential buying opportunity at the current level. Our analysis shows that the current price is overvalued based on recent volatility and movements. Looking ahead to Monday, April 1st, we anticipate Intel to open lower at $0.0100 and begin trading at $44.16. Trading comes with a high risk of financial loss, so it's crucial to consult a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Stockinvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices.
By using this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment outcomes. Presenting our current analysis of the stock. Share your views in the comments below. What price target do you have in mind? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us for successful trading. Have a great day from all of us at Stock Invest.